right? The larger the island of knowledge, the longer the shoreline of wonder. It is on occasion like this, we get opportunities to have a walk on the shoreline of knowledge and understanding. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Amrita Pandey, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here on this day on behalf of Physical Education Foundation of India, Facebook, Pefi Life 2.0. I hope you all are healthy and safe at your ends. I would like to thank you for joining us today for this special presentation on fitness challenges and its futuristic approach, wherein our today's expert, Dr. Me, uh, Dr. D. Mani Aragar, sir, Assistant Professor from the Department of Physical Education, Alagappa University, Tamil Nadu, will be talking about the strategies of fitness challenges. Our expert today is accompanied by Dr. Rajkumar Karve, sir, Assistant Professor of Physical Education Department, University of Agricultural Science, Raichur, Karnataka. We are also accompanied by Dr. Tarun Sharma, sir, who is the Joint Secretary of Physical Education Foundation of India and also the technical expert of this session. On behalf of Team PEFI, I would like to welcome you all once again for this 84th session of PEFI Live 2.0. Before we start, let me explain how you can talk to us during this session. If you have any questions or doubts during this session, just write them into the comment section. We'll pick them up. We'll pick up those questions and it will be answered by our experts. I am profoundly elated to take an opportunity to introduce our expert, Dr. Mani Aragasar. 34 PhD candidates and 60 MPhil candidates have successfully completed their research under SIR. He has undertaken and completed two projects of both UGC and ICSSR. He has presented paper in 100 international and 30 national journals 30 international and 40 national seminars, is a member of four professional bodies and a recipient of Korean Research Fellow Sport for Peace South Korea Award in the year 2020. He is also a recipient of Asian Education Award Punjab 2020 and Outstanding Researcher Award National Sports University South Korea 2018 and many others. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel very pleased very honored. Welcome Dr. D. Mani Araga, sir, on the PEFI platform. And I am sure this is going to be a great one hour session of learning. Over to you, sir. Thank you, madam, for your nice words. A very good afternoon to you all. Greetings from Alagappa University, a Department of Physical Education and Health Sciences. Uh, before going to my presentation, I extend my sincere gratitude and hearty thanks to the most respected General Secretary, Physical Education Foundation of India, and the team members for providing this opportunity. The chosen topic of my presentation is fitness challenges and its futuristic approach. My focus in this presentation in the following aspects of fitness and its components and its benefits and fitness and challenges and how we can overcome that challenge through their physical activities. Why the, why the fitness is needed? What is the necessity? The following three major issues to overcome through fitness physical inactivity, to overcome the physical inactivity, to maintain holistic health, to excel sports performance. All over the globe, in these three contexts only, the fitness program may be launched in different aspects. A physical activity plays overall fourth position for causes of death in the globe. One can maintain the physical inactivity he or she can easily prone to sedentary lifestyle. One can easily prone to sedentary lifestyle. He or she may easily receive the hypokinetic diseases such as cardiovascular disease, like coronary artery disease, a stroke, hypertension, a pulmonary disease, 
asthma, pulmonary obstructive and destructive disease, a musculoskeletal disorder, back pain and arthritis, metabolic disorder, diabetes, psychological disorder, a stress and anxiety and cancer. In this point of view, the World Health Organization launched two initiatives to create the awareness about the fitness all over the globe. In the year 2019, the World Health Organization created a theme, universal health coverage, it's meant for everyone and everywhere. It's not meant for any individual or it's not meant for any individual country. It's meant for everyone and everywhere. And slogan of the World Health Organization for universal health coverage is health for all. In line with the World Health Organization, the same year, during 2019, August 29th, in the eve of our National Sports Day, the Indian government has launched the Fit India movement. The main and the primary objective of this movement to create the awareness among the public of our nation. In this point of view, the Indian government, a non-government organization like the Physical Education Foundation of India, many education institutions, our coaches, our physical education professionals who are working in the higher education institutions and physical education teachers keenly conducted this Fit India movement to each and every corner of our country. Fitness and its components. There are two types of fitness generally involved. One, one fitness is based for the health aspect. The another fitness is based for the sports competitive purpose. Those who are all concentrate on development of sports components they're supposed to perform few weeks or few months in the health components. Without health components, they can't jump to sports components development. So health, health is, it's not merely absence of illness. Health is the state of well-being. One can have the physical, social, mental, or spiritual, and emotional. These five together, make a good shape of tire. When a car having the good shape of tire, the car can move smoothly at any kind of road. In such a way, an individual who have the good health, they have concentrate on these five components. If the car tire is inflated, it means the car cannot ride smoothly. Likewise, you have good in your physical capability, physical strength, but you are not able to develop your social, spiritual, emotional, mental, it's very difficult to say you are living in the healthy lifestyle. So health is not merely absence of illness, it is the overall well-being of the development of these five components. If you want to develop these five components, you can see the first component that is physical health. See, the physical education proverb is a sound mind is the sound body, or you can say sound body is the like sound mind. So if you are able to perform any physical activity for maintaining your physical health, ultimately you can achieve your social, mental, spiritual, and emotional. If you are failed to improve your physical health, it's very difficult to stretch the other component. So in this point of view, the health, have different components. We want to develop that components. Then only we can survive in the world in any kind of situations. What are the components of health? The first and the foremost, the component of health is cardio respiratory endurance, body composition, flexibility, muscular strength, and muscular endurance. One can have all these five character. These are all the components one can develop to maintain their good health. The cardiorespiratory endurance, it means the ability of the heart to pumping the blood, the ability of the lungs to deliver more amount of oxygen towards the working muscles. If you are not perform any activity, though the heart and lungs can work in normally, 
if you perform any physical activity it won't accept it immediately it go for at least 20 days then automatically it adapted your training load so these components are very much essential this is cardiorespiratory endurance body composition flexibility muscular strength and muscular endurance as far as the health components is concerned the another components are related to sports those who are involving any kind of sports activities or athletic competitions or any major tournaments they have to supposed to develop these qualities these qualities generally involve all the games and all the events according to the limitations according to the metabolic demand the components are a speed power agility balance coordination and reaction time these six components very much essential one can achieve their competitive sports is concerned so as far as the fitness is concerned fitness is the capacity of an individual to perform any physical activity for a specified time for a given time without tire or undue fatigue there are two types of fitness one is health comp health component development fitness another one is sports components development fitness what are the more how we can improve our fitness there is any modality or we can buy a care one cage fitness from any shop no it is based on the training methodology whether it is the aerobic form of activity or anaerobic form of activity or combined form of activity it depends on your need that is more important aerobic activity during the metabolic process in the physical activity oxygen is required in anaerobic activity during the sports sports activities during the metabolisms the oxygen is not required but in the combined it depends on the individual it depends on the event so through this move, three kind of training we can improve our fitness generally the parents or institutions or teachers generally thinking when child go to playground they may lost their educational capacity or they are very poor in education i insist to one point here you can the next three slides shows how the physical activity can influencing the cognitive efficiency how to improve the cognitive enrichment if you want to develop your cognitive en enrichment or cognitive ability there is only only mode is physical activity without physical activity one cannot achieve their cognitive skills effectively there is in a study from europe through the aerobic form of activity the cognitive efficiency the cognitive skills are improved particularly the memory capacity for improving memory capacity this is the organ it is called hippocampus hippocampus is the organ located in the both the side of the brain when the hippocampus volume is increased your memory capacity like short term or long term memory capacity may be you, know, you are in a strong if the hippocampus volume is shrinking your memory capacity goes down that is why the age of 50 plus the people are affected alzheimer disease due to the hippocampus shrinking due to the loss of physiological decline when you perform the aerobic form of exercise this hippocampus volume is increased it's a research proven technique this is the study the next one not only aerobic training anaerobic form of activity you can perform the assistance training that also influencing the cognitive skills you can see this is one of the research study functional or structural brain change in response to resistance exercise and resistance training lead to cognitive improvements overall the aerobic training mainly boosting the limbic systems particularly in the hippocampus in the anaerobic form of activity is the develop overall cognitive skills not only aerobic and anaerobic for your kind information the new research study found yoga 
is also altered the brain structure. You can see the title of the study, a differences in brain structures and functions among yoga practitioner and controls. This is the hippocampus, this is the amygdala, but tested, the experimental group shows the better development rather than the control. So as far as the physical activity is concerned, whether you can perform aerobic, whether you can perform anaerobic, or whether you perform you can yogic applications or yogic practice, all these three influencing overall development, especially the cognitive skill development. I just share two informations about at present situations, what we face now, a fitness and COVID. The coronavirus is mostly affected in the human lungs. Generally, we can think. Within the human lungs, he affected in the region of alveolus. Alveolus is the region to exchanging the gas. The carbon dioxide goes out from the bloodstream and the oxygen entered from the alveolus to bloodstream. This incident may happen in the alveolus. When the coronavirus affected heart, so affected in the human lungs, that is type two alveolar cells is the receptor cells, which is easily received the coronavirus. So this is the human lungs affected. What happened the final result? That is the hypoxia. The poor level of the low level of oxygen move in the bloodstream. It leads to breathing difficult and shortens the breath. At few few days back, I found this research articles, one of the leading science paper. This coronavirus not only affected the lungs and the human organs, it's also affected the cognitive. More and more studies are revealing the cognitive effects of COVID-19. It leads to cognitive decline and memory loss. This is the cell, it is called microglia. This microglia is the cell that it acts as a immune cell in the brain, particularly brain and spinal cord. During the healthy state, the microglia act as the tester of environment factor. Now what happened? We are in the home. We are stay at home. Due to that, it assess the environment accordingly its act. If you affect this microglia cell due to the COVID-19, it damages its neuron, its connections to the stored memory. So these things are very much essential. Why I'm stressing this point? Oxygen is required right now. Whoever may be, you are a sportsman or not sportsman. You, you are, you are, you are, your cells need plenty of oxygen. That oxygen you can't buy any outside frequently, but that oxygen you may consume through the environment when you are entering on the field, when you are playing any game, or when you are involved in any physical activity. What is the current status of fitness? What is the status of fitness at today? You can imagine the 24th of March 2020, the government has announced the lockdown before we are involving we are involved in many kinds of physical activities. Children, three adolescents, adult, men and women, elderly populations, and sports practitioners. They are actively participated before March 24th, 2020. After March 24th, 2020, to as on, that is 12 9 2020. Now we are in the detraining period. Detraining means no training at all because we are staying in the home, we are maintaining the social distance. It's a lead to physical inactivity, active physical inactivity lifestyle. If you are not able to perform any small activities in your home. Now the situations, now the government announced, relaxed that you may practice on the playground activities. Now we are entering the retraining. Imagine as a physical education professionals, or as a coaches, whether our athletes or our player or our clients have the same fitness level when you are entering now, 
no so what are the difficulties one can follow it means what are the challenges for the coaches what are the challenges for physical education teacher or what are the challenges for physical director the children period lessons adult men and women all populations may be decline their health components or decline their performance components and decline the cognitive efficiency as a physical education professional we are sole responsibility or we are the torch bearer of to overcome this issue especially coaches sports scientists and physical education professionals the responsibilities for the future program overall a coaches a sports scientist physical education professionals like physical education teachers physical directors who are all directly involved in the children's in schools in colleges the three com the three members are very much essential their role is very much important during our near future years what are the knowledge required as a physical education professionals because coaches and sports scientists deal with the elite level sports practitioner the elite level athletes and elite level play but we the physical education professionals physical education teacher and physical education director we must understand the basic idea about fitness need to all there is no doubt at all when you are entering on the field many of them approach to you so fitness need to all but fitness is not common to all you can't design your training program to each and every one in the same aspect it depends on the training age it depends on the previous experience it depends on the status of present fitness level that is the more important i stress the point at present fitness level is very much essential you must consider while designing any kind of training as far as the school children fitness as well as the college students fitness is concerned and also you consider the individual difference though your athletes are though your player or both, both the sex are equally good but that is before lockdown the lockdown continue more than 5 month when you are entering the both sex entering in the field you are not designing the same training program you may consider the individual difference and you may set the goal that is more important you can set me goal as far as the individual required that is more important whether they want to develop only holistic health you may design your program access and based activities whether they want to develop their motor qualities you may design accordingly so you fix the goal accordingly you design or you construct your training program my message only focused on the physical education professionals like physical education teachers and physical directors who are directly involved in school children and college students as far as the fitness is concerned because i insist to you the coaches and sports scientists role is very much essential for the development of the elite level athletes and players to flourish our cycle and nation in the global arena but as a physical education teacher and physical education professionals our major cause is to create the awareness about the fitness among the public especially school children and college students as a physical education professionals we approached before entered on the field you must assess the physical activity readiness readiness questionnaire the first information you must process in your mind a physical activity readiness questionnaire constituted by american college of sports medicine the questions consists of few response one response is yes and another response is no if your times or students a response to any one of the question is s you immediately you recommend him to meet the pccm without pccm concurrent you won't allow them on the field if any of them response no you may involve in the playing situations or act as the your training program and educate present fitness level i insist to this point though your athlete or though your players yearly before five months before they are good in fitness but it is not very difficult to maintain the same fitness at right now so you must educate the present fitness level 
and motivate the individual that is more important our of our physical education teacher as a physical education professional we are the sole responsibility to motivate an individual to take part participate any physical activity for the development of motor qualities or the for the development of health component is concerned and you monitor the change in fitness throughout the year you simply give the training and uh, going means it won't good you may assist the client's development or your athlete's development through periodical check and also you can start the your training program at the earliest possible because we can consume more amount of oxygen and few weeks or few month you may concentrate on aerobic form of activity because i share one of the informations later on why this aerobic activity is very much essential whether they are sprinters or jumpers or uh, uh, normal populations aerobic is the bench aerobic is the open door of any kind of fitness and once they are developed you may go for combined different kind of activities as a physical education professionals we have the pedometer to assess our client footsteps in a day the research found 10000 footsteps per day shows the good but if it is not possible below 10000 at least 6000 and above it's good for an individual and don't become a chronic exerciser at the earliest at present you may start your program very smoothly that is simple to complex process and you can keep the regular record of your activities and test the periodical assessment if any health problem arises you may recommend them to meet the pcc these are all the step one for our fitness approach one can maintain the health aspect of as well as the competitive fitness is aspect step two for those who are performing only health based fitness development we can say simply they are untrained those who are those who are you treat the untrained population you must follow these three important informations activities more on oxygen based oxygen related activities more on both lower part upper part and core muscles region and don't use or don't manipulate the training variables these three are very much essential as far as the physical education professionals who are all dealt with the children on the playground why the activities more on oxygen based why not the resistance immediately what's happened you can see that see when you first, when you designing the activities more on the oxygen based there is no issue as far as the cognitive development is concerned if the poor oxygen and poor glucose entered in the brain maybe your judgment rate is very poor your cognitive skills may be declined your movement is uncoordinate when the brain cells are receiving a less amount of oxygen and severe symptoms you may unresponsive completely unawareness in the environment your respiratory system may be failure you can understand these five points is very much essential this is one of the leading journal from lungs institute from uh, us recently announced uh, launched these information now i connected this slides to covid 19 slides corona virus affected human lungs particularly the type 2 alveolar cells where the gas exchange is take place when the corona virus peoples affected peoples the oxygen delivering capacity goes to very low if the oxygen capacity goes to very low these symptoms may be they affected so oxygen you can say in the yoga word prana oxygen is the sole responsibility for our living each and every cell of our human body the cerebral hypoxia requires immediate emergency treatment once your brain receive the 
low level of oxygen, it leads to respiratory failure. Your brain cells need plenty of oxygen, major treatment. So, as a physical education professionals, we supposed to concentrate on oxygen-based activities like walking, jogging, cycling. These three we know. But Surya Namaskar, Asana and Pranayama, a skipping, all three is also more effective to feeding more amount of oxygen towards the all working cells. So your activity may be based on aerobic. It means oxygen related activities. New research also found that the Tai Chi exercise, which is more good, more influencing to feeding the plenty of oxygen, the percentage of oxygen to the brain cells, Tai Chi exercise and plates exercises. These are all very familiar, newly familiar, but these are all already existed. As a physical education professional, we are supposed to using this existed one in effectively, with scientifically. And activities more on total body parts. Step two, Surya Namaskar practice. That is, some of them recommended 10 counts, some of them recommended 12 counts. The Surya Namaskar practice is a very much essential after unlocked period of this COVID-19, especially the school going children. Why? Because we are performing the Surya Namaskar, your upper body, your lower body, and the core region. All the three regions involved simultaneously and involved the inhalation and exhalation ratio alternatively. And it creates the awareness of each and every joints, every muscles, every ligament will perform the Surya Namaskar. So the Surya Namaskar practice you may advise to your clients or your children. Once the Surya Namaskar practice is over and 20 to 25 days, you may change your training in the form of circuit based activity, circuit training. Circuit training is one of the best training tool to develop our anatomical adaptations, to develop our bone strength, to develop our muscularity shape, to develop our good spine. The circular training, circuit training is one of the best training protocol. Through the circuit training, we can improve the endurance phase, speed phase, strength phase also. That is for the elite competitions, elite level athletes and players. Some of the skills also we can develop through circuit training. But as a physical education teacher, we have the basic knowledge in the circuit training, how much repetitions, how long they can perform in each circuit, how many total circuit we design, how many stations in a circuit. These are all the very much component we'll develop in the circuit training and go for three weeks, not fixed weight as per the school going children is concerned and the untrained population is also concerned. Three weeks is the safer mode of activity to develop overall body parts development. So as far as the uh, untrained population is concerned, we are supposed to follow the oxygen based activities and total body activities and we are not supposed to consider the manipulation of training variables that is a repetition, sex, load and volume that is called load dynamics. It's meant for only trained populations rather than the school going children or those who are involved in the health fitness components is concerned. Here, I just share some of the important information about the trained people component, that is the cardiorespiratory endurance. If you want to develop one of the important component in our systems, that is cardiorespiratory endurance, uh, most of the coaches are knowing this concept, most of the physical education teachers are also knowing, but my focusing these presentations, you must know the principles, how to share the, how to calculate the maximum heart rate through the Carbonon formula for attacking the uh, target heart rate zone. I showed here and we'll think of the trained people. We must think of the fit principles. That is four letters. Fit. Uh, F stands for frequency. I stands for intensity. And I stands for uh, uh, T stands for time. And another T stands for type. Frequency. How many days you can perform in a week? Intensity. How long you can? How much rate of you can perform? What is the heart rate of your activity? And time, how long? Either 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 
or what type of aerobic mode either walking jogging say in this knowledge is enough for the uh, for physical education teacher is concerned for the development of cardio respiratory endurance is concerned there are the activities walking or uh, jogging elliptic activity aerobics water aerobics road cycling spinning stair climbing stationary jogging and cycling are mainly involved the development of cardio respiratory endurance this is the carbonon formula which is uh, uh, widely used formula for uh, considering the target heart rate zone is concerned the next one body composition your training may be designed 60 to 90 minutes of a physical activity any kind of aerobic mode and it minimum 20 minutes weekly 3 days and you must concentrate on the training concept either a strength aspect 2 to 3 times in a week you follow the moderation diet with the consultation of the nutritionist because we the physical educationist we studied nutrition as one of the paper in the generally but when you required the broad knowledge from the nutritionist or any coaches from neighboring district or within your district you may get the knowledge from them and you can use for your athletes or your your clients and you monitor regular body weight and body composition and don't allow to improve the body weight and as far as flexibility is concerned maybe may you flexible your body may be flexible if your body may be flexible you may maintain your normal body weight for that you may perform some stretching exercise and you concentrate on 10 to 12 repetition of exercise avoid standing in a or sitting in a long time in a sing, in a same same position and correct main posture and warm up properly and cooling down properly and practice adequate stress management and this for muscular strength and endurance make progressive resistance training after your training after this coronavirus Uh, unlock period you may start your progressive resistance training and you must teach the learning proper technique and train a group of activity not individual during the fixed weight you may train with your friends and the strength at training at least in a day or weekly twice it needs of an individual and it needs of your goal use minimum of 8 to 10 time of 10 repetition or 10 types of exercise this all major groups allow 48 hours of recovery in between the two training sessions and this is the development of sports related fitness components here i wanted to share the important information as far as the sports related components is concerned we the physical education people suppose we are not able to uh, knowing all the training the leading training we request the guidance from the coaches and the experts from uh, sports authority of india or district sports council for development of this training as this training is concerned without coaching guidance you won't start because it's complicated one uh, you can uh, you can in, you can adapt the training variable manipulation as far as the uh, motor qualities is concerned if you want to develop the untrained populations there is no training manipulations but when you want to develop your uh, sports related components you supposed to develop you supposed to manipulate your training variable to each and every training that is own body exercise uh, integrative neuromuscular training uh, circuit training continuous training high intensity interval training like uh, zumba and tabata hot leg training interval training weight training plyometric training in the form of complex and max sets cross training core training like plates stability ball exercise elastic band these are all the advanced training generally coaches are taught their athletes and their players If you want to additional knowledge in this area, you may request the the experts from your place or your council, sports council, to uh, develop your athletes in the elite level competitions. And the the informations contained in the slides is very much important. When you design your training program, you must think of you acknowledge that you have a problem. Go over weight, for example. because last 5 month you are not involved in any physical activity definitely it leads to overweight at least 1 kg increase in your body weight so you acknowledge yourself as i am increase my body weight and you may describe the behavior to change it means you think of i supposed to increase my physical activity and i stop my overeating 
and you list your advantage and disadvantages for your specified behavior for example you are bet going you are a bet up time is suppose 10 and about 10 means you supposed to change you supposed to go at earlier decide yourself you may change positively tomorrow i want to go playground at early morning so that positively you put the word i'm going to early bed because tomorrow i wake up at early and identify the changes weekly or monthly and make it a realistic goal set a realistic goal before any training you may set a goal if for example a reduction of my body weight accordingly you change your behavior if you want to develop your body weight immediately you may go for any aerobic form of activity and also you can consider the good training and good uh, nutrition plan and monitor your progress periodically evaluate your goal setting reward yourself once you are training over after a month you may check your body weight if your body weight is maybe reduced after 3 or 4 month of training you may reward yourself first of all yes i reached my goal make it a positive internal thinking positive internal motivation and maintain the successful change of your food that is more important in this context you may get the concurrent from the good physical nutritionist and participate in a lifetime physical activity program 150 minutes in a week that is the american college of sports medicine recommend 150 minutes in a week that is we can think of two different method 30 minutes in a day for 5 days or 50 minutes in a day alternate with 3 days you may supposed to practice it is good for you are maintaining good health don't smoke cigarette and here 4 lakhs 70000 people saw died due to the cigarette smoking and eat right fruits vegetable and whole grains if you not have any idea you may discuss the good nutritionist and get the advice from them and perform your activity and recommend body weight normal body weight finally according to the us center for disease control and prevention they said they concretely recommend for healthy living habits that is get at least 30 minutes in a day moderate physical activity i already told 30 minutes in a day moderate intensity it means you may maintain your heart rate goes to 140 to 150 it depends on the age group it depends on the uh, your training never smoke eat healthy diet and maintain body mass index under 30 these are all four concrete recommendation from the us center for disease control and prevention a role of parents this is not only physical education teacher or coaches or sports scientist parents also support to their students to their kids development lead by example parents should be an example parents should be supposed to walk at the early morning definitely the children also go with the parents the activity may be the family oriented not only uh, one individual going for walking it total family may be go for walking and wherever the family move drive less with the children possible go by walk for buying some vegetables or for buying some your necessary necessary purchase all and support your kids that is more important as far as parents role is concerned the support the mental support is very much essential otherwise or unless your children may failure in the academic as well as the physical fitness is concerned the role of institutions and teachers the education institutions and teacher may also play a key role to overcome these issues a developing and implementing policies requesting school accountability for quality and quantity of physical education and physical activity they must suggest to their physical education teacher to conduct any kind of physical activity every day morning and evening at least 20 to 30 minutes and encouraging yearly childhood education program to have children as physically active as possible that is more important 
when the children are played in the earlier stage the neuromuscular systems may activate may develop efficiently effectively when a child can develop the neuromuscular quality at the earlier stage it leads to a good posture if a child can make in a good posture at the earlier stage there is no issue on his adult or at the age of 20 and 20 plus if the child not consider earlier in their posture is concerned it leads to either scoliosis kyphosis body bad posture that leads to age of adult about 20 also so allow them to play at the early at the earliest providing access to an opportunities for physical education before and after school i already told you the physical education activities before and after it's compulsory but many of the institutions uh, they are major concentrated on the educational development rather than the physical but in this point of view we are failed to maintain the children fitness for past 6 month once the school is reopened the management and the teachers are recommend to physical activity through their physical education teachers to develop their motor qualities or the health component of their school children and using routine performance measures by local state and federal agencies to set benchmark of active level that is the NAN physical education fitness program above all this is my end slide my end note psychological boost up is very much essential either your children are involved in sports activities or not if your children involving in sports activities ultimately it leads to improve their cognitive enrichment cognitive development so you may develop no no though you are uh, last five months you are not doing any physical activity no issue today onwards we start within a month we can cope up your uh, we, we can cope up our sports activities there is no issue such a way you have to boost up psychologically that is more important and lifestyle behavior modifications nowadays is very essential like if you are not maintain your lifestyle modifications it's very difficult to maintain your physical fitness and learn fitness and teach fitness as a physical education professional we first learn we know but we supposed to learn the advanced fitness level from the teachers from the coaches then we supposed to teach the children and consult with the experts coaches and sports scientists as far as the motor qualities development is concerned i am strongly insist to you here the physical education professionals the first fitness teacher of any children in our country as well as in the globe we put we the people are directly involved at the earlier stage and concentrate on community fitness rather than the individual fitness that what the physical education foundation of india clearly stretched their program to start every state chapter for example in my chapter physical education foundation of india tamil nadu chapter likewise they are initiated an excellent program to stretch their foundation to entire state here i wanted to stress another point the physical education foundation of india organization authorities not only focusing on the development of fitness program they supposed to uh, organize those who are interesting those physical education teacher are very much involved in the field based activities six month once they are called their place and we at least one week program they supposed to organize with the elite level coach and elite level sports psychologist and elite level sports scientist that can benefit the physical education teacher then the physical education teacher also can involve to develop the motor qualities development is concerned though the physical education teachers are involved in these aspects no doubt at all but many of the remote area physical education teacher want the facilities that is the problem i earnestly request to the physical education foundation members to consider this point to in your future program maybe you organize the remote level physical education teacher who are interesting who are involved in the field based activities to conduct the periodical fitness program for them first then automatically they can stretch their program they can 
uh, stretch their idea towards the entire uh, village or entire district or entire state. Above all, this is my final slide. Uh, this slide shows the COVID-19 lockdown. Now it's relaxed, slow by slow. But here, the mental lockdown. If you are not, unlock your mind. Yes, I can. Yes, I am the person to do this. You can't unlock your mental ability. It is very difficult to shine your field wherever you are. In the situation, you must think of your mental, if you are mentally strong, your clients, your children, your athletes are also mental strong. The Physical Education Foundation of India and all the physical education professionals, uh, coaches, above all, combine together to lift our tri-nation color in the global arena as far as the elite level performance is concerned and also to decline the physical inactivity overall lifestyle of an individual in our country. I am a physical education teacher, though I am working in the physical uh, Alagappa University in the Department of Physical Education, I am giving training for 150 children every day morning 5.30 to 7 o'clock for the cause of their basic fitness, holistic, healthy lifestyle, free of cost. Because of that, I received 2019 Dr. M. Robson Award, the Young Researcher in Physical Education from the honor, the great prestigious non-government organization, the Physical Education Foundation of India. In that group here, those these six girls and three boys entered last year Tamil Nadu State School Level Athletic Competitions, first time in my, my, my trainees. As a physical education professional, you think of, you can also do the same thing. Wish you good luck. Before concluding, once again, I thank the organizers of Physical Education Foundation of India and the most expected, the General Secretary and the team members for inviting me and to allow me to share my little knowledge in the chosen area. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Dr. Mania Raga. We'll now go ahead and take some time for questions. Just a reminder for our viewers today, please be sure to type your questions or queries into the comment section onto the Pepe Life page. Yes, ma'am. It looked like uh, we don't have any questions, sir. Usually this happens when the expert elaborated and explained the topic so wonderfully that there are no doubts or queries. Very much, ma'am. Moving ahead, I now request the one who is working in the field of physical education in sports as a lecturer, coach, selection committee member of cricket and research, uh, cricket in research uh, fellow since uh, last 10 years. He has to his credit the publication of two books. He has published research articles in 23 international and nine national journals, four international and four international conferences. He participated in two internationals and eight national workshops and is recipient of two international and seven national awards. I now request Dr. Rajkumar Karvesar to give away the concluding remarks. So please. So you need to unmute yourself. So we are unable to hear you. Dr. Kavi, sir, we are unable to hear you. Right, sir. Hello. 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 Yes, sir, we can hear you. Please continue. Yeah, it's a yeah, uh, wonderful uh, presentation uh, by Dr. Maria Azuki. Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, Dr. Karve, you need to uh, switch off a device of off so that the proper sound will come, otherwise it will be a echo. Now, you have to log in with two devices. Right, sir. Now, done. Uh, this is better, sir. Yeah, thank you. 
Uh, it's a wonderful presentation by Dr. Mania Zago, Assistant Professor, Department of Education at the University. Uh, it's a one-hour non-stop marathon uh, race by him uh, on the topic of fitness challenges and uh, its futuristic approach. Uh, as a, a physical education teacher, uh, I felt that uh, uh, his presentation tells that uh, uh, after the professional doctors who are seeing the COVID patients and handling the COVID patients, and we physical education teachers are the doctors of physical education and sports. And uh, for us, uh, giving prescription for health and fitness is primary concern of physical education teachers. Uh, during this pandemic period, uh, uh, after the survival and uh, food and all, the next uh, uh, doctor is the physical education teachers and uh, sports teachers who are came into existence for in, during this period that uh, fitness uh, played a very important role during this period and everyone has started doing the fitness uh, in the homes and then in the terrace all the kinds of uh, platforms uh, whatever they have got during those periods in this context uh, uh, i would like to say that uh, uh, dr mania zagu has uh, well presented and he has covered all the aspects where uh, physical and physiological, psychological aspects are concerned and uh, what futuristic approaches should be there and how we have to approach uh, uh, to enhance their performances in all aspects, and keeping all those things in, a, in the mind. And he was, uh, during his uh, one hour marathon presentation, he has uh, rightly said every aspect and we have to be uh, very uh, approachistic in towards the uh, developing the physical fitness and uh, the coaching aspects of uh, every sports persons uh, ahead so that uh, we can uh, go through this COVID-19 period in a successful one. Thank you. And I also thank uh, the uh, Secretary of Physical Education Foundation of India, Dr. Piyush Janji and his team for uh, making me to conclude this session as a chairperson. Uh, I thank wholeheartedly whole team of PEPI and I also thank uh, Dr. Maria Zaku for enlightening us in the subject of uh, fitness challenges and its futuristic approach. Right. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our 84th session of PEPI Life 2.0. I, on behalf of Physical Education Foundation of India and the entire viewers, and on behalf of all the people, all the group of Physical Education Foundation of India, I extend a very hearty vote of thanks to Dr. Mani Araga for gracing his important work and sharing us his findings with us today. I would also like to thank Dr. Karve for proposing the concluding remark and for proposing the concluding remark and explaining the gist elaborated by Dr. Mani Araga in a nutshell. On behalf of Physical Education Foundation of India, I once again thank you all for making time in your busy schedules to join us here. Thank you everyone for your uh, valuable time that you have spent with us and for providing us your kind suggestions and compliments. For more information, you may please feel free to contact on info at the rate pefiindia.org or pefiindia at the rate gmail.com. It's been our pleasure to host this event and I wish you all a very pleasant day. Tomorrow, we'll be meeting a new expert with a new topic here on PEFI Life 2.0 platform. Till then, stay indoors, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you.